Welcome to the series where I test out the OSR's wiki money making guides. I started this series almost a year ago and since then we've tried out multiple methods even if they're a little silly such as picking bananas or even flax. If you enjoy these types of videos then feel free to check out the playlist that I've made for them and feel free to leave a suggestion down in the comments for a method that you'd like to see tested. With that being said, let's get into the video. So for today's moneymaker, as you've already seen by reading the title of this video, we will be high alking items in free to play. Now, as you can see here in my inventory, I have a bunch of different alkables. We have a bunch of rune items, some mithril, some adamant, uh, some green dehyde, all this good stuff. Um, these are just the items that the wiki was recommending, except for the plate bodies. I did have to improvise a little bit and buy those since some of the items weren't really coming through. Um, that's going to be the thing with this moneymaker. Even though it is good money and good XP, you will have to do a little bit of homework and figure out which items are actually profitable. Because sometimes uh, these items are actually selling for more on the GE than their high alk value. And at that point, it's not even worth it. So make sure you... Uh, Get these items for a good price so i suggest leaving an offer in overnight to buy all of your alkables and then in the morning or whenever you do this you'll have a bunch of items to high alk and then the money that you make from high alking you can put that back into buying more items now if you're looking for items to high alk there was a website that i used to use back in the day called alkmate and that was very helpful in finding items that were still profitable to high alk so you can set the nature rune price, which is already set automatically here, and it'll show you a list of items and their profit. It also shows you how many you can buy every four hours, and of course the trade volume, which is good for finding the items that are actually being actively traded on the GE. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. So as for the requirements for this moneymaker, all you will need is level 55 magic and a cash stack. Now, me personally, for this one hour, I did spend over 20 million to buy all of these high alkable items. But for you, depending on how big your cash deck is, you can either choose items that are less expensive, or you can simply just do this at the GE and use the money you get from high alking to buy more items to high alk. So in reality, for this moneymaker, you really don't need a huge cash deck. You can do this with 10,000 GP to buy one item, high alk it, buy the item, high alk it, and so on and so forth. So while having a big cash stack helps, it's not necessary. And speaking of cash stacks and items to buy and all that stuff, if you want to skip the part of you looking for the best items to high alk, I recommend going to a specific world. I believe it's world 308. It is free to play. On that world at the bank that is near me to my east, you'll find many people that are smithing rune items and selling them in bulk. You may remember this place and the people that sell items here because I did do a video maybe like a year ago about smithing rune items and towards the end I did sell them in bulk to the people that are there. Now this helps both the buyer and the seller because the seller will get more money than he would if he put them in the GE. So this is definitely an option worth checking out if you don't feel like putting in multiple offers in the GE yourself and looking for the best prices. Now, it's important to remember that you are paying for convenience here. So just remember that you're not going to be making as much profit as if you were to buy all these items yourself. Um, but sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes the profit that you would get from putting in your own offers in the GE don't really outweigh the nice convenience of buying bulk rune items. And as you may have already noticed, to the left of the screen, somebody found my hiding spot. Yeah, um, I don't know if they showed up here to do the quest and they saw me high alking and decided to join me, or if this is just their favorite spot to high alk as well. But something else that I did notice was that Juliet has a lot of people going after her heart, or helping her in the quest, the, whatever they're doing. I assume all the people that are visiting her are lovers, because a heart appears whenever they start talking to each other, so somebody should probably warn Romeo. But anyways, back to the moneymaker. The method, I don't really need to explain the method to you. You're simply high alking items. I'd say the only bit of advice that I have is to position the item in your inventory to line up with the high alk. That way you don't have to move your cursor. And then you can just click for a full hour or however long you want to do this. And besides that, just pick your favorite spot to high alk. Unless you don't have a really big cash stack, then I suggest you stay at the Grand Exchange. 
But if you have a bill or two to spare, then go ahead and just buy a buttload of items and go to your favorite spot, such as Castle Wars or Juliet's Balcony. There actually is an item that will help you if you are planning to do Hyalking for a long time, and it is Bryophytus Staff, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Now for those of you that don't know, this staff is a very expensive staff, currently valued at about 6 million GP, but it has the chance to not consume a charge when using nature runes. So in the long run, this can help you save money, but if you're just planning on doing this short term, I don't really think it's worth it. And if you're interested in how this works, here is the equation or geometric series. I don't know, I don't, I don't do math, I play runescape. But uh, yeah, there it is if you want to know. In simple terms, it says that it saves an average of about 12.71 coins per rune consumed. So do with that information what you will. Just keep in mind that if you are going for the money saving route, it's probably best to do this in members, not only because you get access to more items to ALK, but you can also use the Tome of Fire with the staff to save the most amount of money. Now I get it, saving money is a good thing, but if you're trying to impress Juliet, you're probably going to have to bust out those smoke runes. Now towards the end of the video, I did run out of items to Hyok, so with 38 seconds remaining, I went to the GE, bought some adamant plate legs, and proceeded to Hyok those for the remaining 38 seconds. So if you are planning on doing this for an hour, I'd say bring at least 1200 items and 1200 nature runes, because that's pretty much the amount that you can Hyok for one hour. And with that being said, let's go ahead and see what the total profit was. So after one hour of high alking, uh, we're left with 24 million coins. Now, luckily we don't have to go to the GE to sell off our profit since we already have everything here, but we do need to do a little bit of calculation to see how much money we made over the course of this one hour. All right, so in total from high alking for one hour, we were able to make 560 1,275 GP, but if we subtract the cost of the nature runes, that was 212,046 GP. That gives us a grand total profit of 348,229 GP from one hour of high alking in free to play. Here's also a look at the total magic XP we got in this one hour, almost 78,000. And for being a low effort magic training method that actually gives you profit, this is pretty good. I just want to say thanks for checking out the video and thank you to all of my channel members with a special thanks to ACR Beans. Once again, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, I will catch you guys in the next episode.